guys, it's Sarah from Old Coin Bus Ladies. So over the weekend, I've asked you guys on my Twitter whether a Bitcoin will hit 10k by the end of today. That was on Saturday, and unfortunately, it didn't. Luckily, I didn't bet any money on it, so I'm safe. Currently, Bitcoin is trending as of of the time of the video at 9.2k and the market cap is at 436 billion and let's have a look on what's going on today. So we're gonna talk about the biggest winner of the last 24 hours being Bitcoin but obviously iOS talk and Holo ETH has been doing absolutely great. Pony's been on a run for quite a few days from what I remember the other day I did a video as well. IOTA's finally making some moves so we can see some bullish market even though top 20 altcoins are sort of down but let's crack on with the bitcoin then so bitcoin is trending at one cent we could say uh, with a market cap of 2.3 billion and it's obviously making some massive moves so to all of you guys who've been holding bitcoin the day finally come bitcoin made some moves as we know the bitcoin boost been long awaited to be fair and that just happened moments after being listed on the largest crypto exchange in the world. The value of the coin seems to be on the rise. Basically, it's been added onto the largest, Binance being the largest global cryptocurrency exchange in terms of volumes and user trust. The listing of the privacy coin on the exchange means much more than just volumes. So now you can have your Bitcoin paired with major currencies, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Binance coin. This makes it easier to deposit and trade Bitcoin on Binance. The trading fees are obviously as low as 0.1% and for a limited time you can enjoy a 50% transaction discount on the exchange. Binance does it quite often and which is one of the reasons which is our favorite. But for those of you guys who don't know what Bitcoin actually is, so Bitcoin is in the open source cryptocurrency category I'd say but its uniqueness is based on the privacy and untraceable transactions. The coin has been the market since 2012, so it's quite an old one. It has been working behind the scenes to develop its infrastructure and the market has really pushed it. And the leasing has actually pushed Bitcoin so much that Bitcoin is currently ranked number 16 at the time of the video by the market capitalization on coin market cap. Bitcoin was one of the first coins to utilize the crypto node technology, which is adored by obviously all the dark web users. With the technology, transactions are kept anonymous and addresses cannot be viewed by others on the platform. It uses ring signatures, which prevents linking the transaction initiator and the terminator. So obviously this sort of news always surges the price, but there is a bit more to it. So before actually getting listed on Binance Exchange, the team behind Bycoin, some updates from them, which is absolutely brilliant as you can see on their website. The release of the Android wallet was a key player in the increased uh, Bycoin uptake. The marketing team has also been exploring Virgin Market, which targets Asia, Africa and the Middle East. You can see, read a bit more about it on the roadmap, which I highly recommend you guys do. The team is basically taking advantage of the privacy feature that Virgin Market investors are interested in with a lot of vulnerabilities in other privacy coins. But let's talk about this listing, what actually happened. So by doing so, Bycoin has beaten Lisk, Verge and Icon. And that's with the market capitalization. And this is obviously a huge milestone in the history of this coin. I think in the total, it's been like 172% jump in volume traded in the last 24 hour, which is obviously a clear indication the value Binance is set to add onto Bitcoin in the coming months. And Bitcoin is not the only coin. It just shows what addition to additional exchanges can actually do to a coin. Do you guys actually huddle any Bitcoin? What is your take on it? Please leave a comment and let me know. So what is there left for Bitcoin? It's obviously a huge milestone. So Bitcoin has been working behind the scenes to avoid the speculation and with the current updates and getting listed on Binance, all the critics uh, pretty much been silenced now. Critics had previously trashed Bitcoin as a scam cryptocurrency. But it seems like this has calmed them down for a bit. This is not professional financial advice, guys. This is just my opinion. I'm just summarizing the recent price surge of Bitcoin. With a lot of support coming from the Oriental areas and in the roads of its making to Africa and the Middle East, 
Bitcoin is becoming one of the privacy coins regarding the global appeal of it. And yeah, guys, that's about it. Let me know what you think about Binance coin. Do you guys think it was a bit of a problem before? Do you guys like it? A lot of you have been asking me to actually do a video about it, so I'm quite glad. I like to make videos when there is some news happening about a certain coin because then it gets me excited about it and I can sound a bit more realistic with it. Um, but let's go back to my Twitter basically because there's been a little thing going on and on last night's All Converse live show with Jeff, so many of you wanted me to go live. So guys, obviously haven't done it before and leaving ideas for me to what to make the video about would be absolutely brilliant. So do let me know what you think. There's a lot of funny comments in there, a lot of good ideas as well. So I'll definitely do, I'll try and do it in this week. I'll see how it goes, you know, we all have a life outside of crypto and YouTube and Twitter. But if you yet to do it also, remember to subscribe to our channel so you get notified when I go live. Follow me on Twitter. Follow All Coin Best Ladies as well on Twitter. Subscribe to our channel, hit a like button, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!